Hi, Dr. Masha here and today I'd like to talk to you about insulin resistance. Insulin resistance is the number one reason why we gain weight and why we have difficulty losing weight. Over time, insulin resistance can lead to diabetes, polycystic ovarian syndrome, gout, high blood pressure, dementia, and severe form of insulin resistance can trigger some cancers. Insulin resistance can absolutely ruin your health. On the contrary, insulin sensitivity is the foundation of health. But don't panic. Moving from insulin resistance to insulin sensitivity is not that difficult. It's completely reversible. But first, let's look at the symptoms to determine whether you might be suffering from insulin resistance. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to receive more videos on women's health, weight loss, and hyperbaric oxygen therapy. Insulin is a hormone that's supposed to keep blood sugar in check. Pancreas secretes insulin in response to carbohydrate meal. Carbohydrates get digested into glucose and this glucose goes into our bloodstream. It needs to get into cells to start producing energy. Insulin is this key that opens the door to the cell so glucose can get in. Once inside the cell, glucose will take part in energy production cycle. Whatever is left will be converted to glycogen. That's a storage form of glucose. Once glycogen storage form is full, the rest of glucose will be converted into fat. This fat will be transferred to our fat cells and we will get fatter. Basically, that's how we gain weight. At one point, when we have too much glucose, cells will become insensitive to insulin because they don't want any more glucose. They're full. So even though insulin is knocking on the door and saying, please let glucose in, cell is not responding to insulin. In response, pancreas secretes more insulin. So we, now we get the state when we get a lot of glucose, we have a lot of insulin, and this glucose gets constantly converted into fat. But more to that, insulin will stimulate hunger and cravings. So we'll start to consume even more carbohydrates. Insulin resistance could be diagnosed by some signs and symptoms and also by doing blood tests. So let's start with signs and symptoms. First is weight gain, but not just any weight gain. It's got to be weight gain around your abdomen and this weight is usually difficult to lose. You might have tried dieting, but the weight is not coming off. To assess whether you're overweight or not, we can use two simple measurements. One is body mass index. It's the relationship between your height and your weight. Body mass index over 25 is suggestive of insulin resistance. Another measurement that we can use is the waist to hips ratio. Standing up, measure your waist and measure your hips at the widest point and divide your waist measurement by your hips measurement. If the number that you get is greater than 0.85, then you're probably insulin resistant. You can look at your skin. If you've noticed skin tags and also brown spots, really dry, thick skin that's usually either on your neck or under arms, that's called acanthosis nigricans, that's a sign of insulin resistance. You can also look at how you feel after you eat lunch. If you feel tired, that could be a sign of insulin resistance. Also, if all of a sudden, one hour after you had your lunch, you start craving sugar and starch, that's another sign of insulin resistance. If you miss a meal, you miss lunch, and you start feeling angry, hungry, lightheaded, tired, irritable, annoyed, these are all signs of dropping sugar and the signs of insulin resistance. You might be retaining liquid and getting up at night to urinate. This could be signs of other diseases, but it is also a sign of insulin resistance. You can order blood tests to see if you could be insulin resistant. One definitive blood test that if you suspect insulin resistance, I think you should ask your health provider to order is called Coma IR. It measures relationship between fasting glucose and fasting insulin. So if your Coma IR number is greater than two, you suffer from insulin resistance. 
Other tests to consider are lipid panel to look at your triglycerides and cholesterol levels, hemoglobin A1c, as I said, fasting glucose, fasting insulin, C-reactive protein, and uric acid. Insulin resistance diagnosis is scary, but at the same time, insulin resistance is completely reversible. If you were diagnosed with insulin resistance, if you show signs and symptoms, don't panic. Now it's a good time to watch my next video how to reverse insulin resistance. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and I'll see you next week.